Hi guys, welcome to Diamond Delight Edibles. My name is Liz, if this is the first time you stopped by, and for the rest of you guys, welcome back and thank you so much. I really do appreciate your kind words and support. You guys are really, really awesome. So today I'm doing something a little bit different. Sorry, I'm not bringing you a yummy, yummy recipe. But what I am gonna do is what I'm going over is all about can of butter and the different processes that are now available today what is going to give us our best infusion as well as what is lecithin really used for because i get that question a whole lot so let's jump right in so first off we um there like i said there's all different methods today old school we have the crock pot um or uh on your on on your stove pot and stove and water or your crock pot yes i know this is not a crock pot it is a rice cooker i do not have a crock pot so we're just gonna pretend it's a crock pot okay so we're good with that so old days crock pot you put in your butter you put in your water you let it go for 8 12 14 16 24 hours whatever it is and you produce this very heavy very green strong scented butter which basically looks like this so let me just come up a little bit closer for you very dark very heavy very green and usually has a lot of sediment and can have a lot of sediment in it and that's because your crock pot um if you cook things normally you know it's a slow cook method heats up slowly with moisture building up in the pot and making things really really soft so what it does is it breaks down your plant material however while that process is happening the heating up slowly and breaking down the plants with the heat and you mixing up and stuff what also happens with the crock pot is a lot of moisture builds up chlorophyll is water soluble thc and your cannabinoids and all of that are oil soluble so what that means is all your good stuff that you want is going to dissolve into your oil everything that you don't want is going to dissolve into the water and that is why in the crock pot or um and also in the, um, the magic butter i'll get more into the different machines here but in the magical butter is to why you get such heavy green infusions is in the crock pot as i said it's a very slow method so the plant breaks down releasing that chlorophyll a whole lot of moisture builds up in in the pot and the chlorophyll is then being dissolved into your um into your infusion also making a less infective infusion because part of your oil is being taken up by chlorophyll so on a science molecular level so a lot of the molecules are being taken up by your chlorophyll whereas they could be being taken up by thc blah 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 i am not getting into science so with that that's as i said your crock pot with the magical butter However, and I know this is one of the most popular machines. I do not want to hear a whole bunch of people yelling at me. Because, I mean, honestly, when I first got this, I loved it. Didn't think there was anything different. But, woo, it's great. And it is. I'm not, I'm not bad-mouthing it at all. However, what it does do, because your herb, because of the blade, it has a blade in it. So it's um, technology or whatever. It heats up. It's got a temperature gauge in it to temperature control it and um, it's got a blade in it that goes off every once in a while um, every few minutes um, chopping up your herb and it will literally chop it to complete it will pulverize it it will put it to complete pulp see how fine that is i could make paper from that and again so what happens in your magical butter is because you are literally pulverizing your um your herb material and again it's heating up moisture is building up inside the machine releasing that chlorophyll and that chlorophyll is what is being released into your um into your butter and if you add water into it it's going to make it of course even worse so so now with the levo it's on a completely different technology it works um i don't know the full technology behind it but it's pretty cool so it's got the um chamber inside that heats up and it uses a magnetic stir your herb goes into the pod which sits upon the side here and it does not get disturbed so your herb is going to come out looking exactly the way that it went in so this is the herb that i used for that infusion from that machine and then see it comes goes that's how i broke it down that's how it came out so again not releasing it 
but how is it how is it moving because you need to have some kind of agitation you need something to be um, you need to have something that's going to help release that THC only so much of it is going to dissolve on the outside but what's on the inside and through the through the butt etc um, how do you get that out so they use a magnetic spinner and this rotates at a very high speed again at ver various intervals through your infusions whipping basically whipping the oil through your herb taking that taking your cannabinoids and taking your THC all that good stuff with it and here's a little quick video or pick a video of how a magnetic stirrer works <clears throat> So you can see how it moves at a high velocity of speed there. So what that is doing is it's heat, it's doing that with your heated oil and running that through the uh, through your plant material and taking out what it needs. And what that means is that you end up with a very much much cleaner infusion, and your butter comes out as you can see. Woo! Woo! Butter overboard. <laughs> So as you can see, it is much, much lighter. And I wish we had smell a little smell of vision here because the smell, like it's night and day between the two. We come out with a really heavy, heavy smell in this, that's your chlorophyll, not so nice. And most people don't like that taste. You don't get that with that. You get that really pure, um, I guess, THC and whatever that's supposed to taste like. So this is such a nice, clean tasting, um, much, much cleaner tasting butter. Now, on to the Butter Brewer. Now, some of you probably may have seen the review on this that I just did the other day. So with the Butter Brewer, again, it does a heating mechanism. It's really nice, it's all customizable, etc. And what it has, it has a blade, but it's not a blade like the Magic Butter that chops and literally pulverizes your herb. What it does is it just gently stirs, it moves at a very slow pace around, um, just gently, moving your herb through the oil um, at various intervals for various periods of time and again you can set that um, you can customize that exactly how many times you would want so if you want to do it uh, for five minutes um, every <laughs> five minute interval so it's going to run for five minutes every seven minutes so it'll sit quiet for two and then it will run that's you can set that for that and again what that leaves is your herb in full tack there's no chopping up or anything like that um this is it and um now with the butter brewer it is recommended to grind up your wheat a lot finer than what i did here but as same thing is it is going to go in exactly it's going to come out exactly the way it went in so not breaking it all up again not releasing all the chlorophyll which we do not need to do and this is the butter that came out of the butter brewer so again you can see how much lighter whoops gosh gravity man gravity so i'm just going to put these two up against each other and look at this you can see that difference so all that dark green doesn't mean that this is a stronger butter it just means it has a whole lot more chlorophyll now the other issue that I do have with the Magic Butter is because it does grind it so fine, you always end up with sediment in your, uh, in your butter. No matter how well you strain it, it's so fine that it, it's just in there. So, all about that. Now, just to demonstrate, now I just want to demonstrate how easily, th um, how easily your THC and crystals, etc. Uh, dissolve in oil. So I've got my grinder lid here that hopefully you can see is it's partially because I was doing a test um, so there is kind of some oil in it but as you can see it's got all this other stuff that got stuck to it that you know anyone who has one of these you can't get it out so I'm just going to take some oil and I'm just going to get that all kind of squished swished around I'm just going to let this sit here for a couple minutes while I discuss um, about lecithin and why we use it. So that's what I said, lecithin. So there is a lot of people, do you use lecithin, don't you, why do you, what's it for, blah, blah, blah. So lecithin is an emulsifier. What an emulsifier does is it binds two things together to become one. So basically it creates a bubble around mm -hmm. two molecules, making them so essentially almost like one molecule 
with this little bubble around it. <laughs> that, in, in, in real layman's terms, is what an emulsifier does. Why we use it in our butter, because you're like, well, it's oil and oil. So in our butter, um, our butter, our THC, and that gets extracted into our butter. However, there are far more um, butter molecules than our uh, THC. We've got two cups of butter, for example, that could have five billion, five billion molecules. What the amount of THC that we're extracting out is probably, again, really random, about, let's say, two tablespoons. So that's two tablespoons worth of molecules. That's a huge difference. So what happens is, is you end up with little tiny pockets of your THC kind of spattered out throughout your butter. And that's why some people will say, oh, why do I, you know, I had one piece that was really strong and I had another piece and I didn't get anything. That's why, because your THC ends up in pockets and is not evenly distributed through your butter, which does not give you accurate or even dosing which is why people, you use an emulsifier. The emulsifier, you blend it all together, it does its thing and it will pull and it gives you an even distribution of your THC throughout your butter so you don't end up with those pockets, if that makes sense to you. So the one thing is I know a lot of the recipes, pretty much most of them out there, um, even in instructions say to put the lecithin into your uh, mixture while it's, while it's brewing up. Honestly, I don't, especially from doing it, both ways not using it um, I don't really I don't recommend it if you want to use lecithin use it once your butter is um, completed and everything is strained out of it and then you can use lecithin whip it up with a hand blender that's going to give you a nice emulsified butter the reason why I say don't to put it in whilst you're cooking or brewing is because especially in your crock pot or in, in this puppy um, moisture builds up so emulsifying is going to bind oil and water together. So if any of you have made um, it in the crock pot and put water into your uh, butter mixture there for temperature control, found out that you had a very waterlogged, not a nice butter. That's why, because water is being trapped and stuck inside your butter that you can't get out because this pretty much is like glue. So that is why. And again, in, one of the, in this machine, um, moisture builds up so again if you want to add it do it afterwards because again moisture will build up in the machine adhering water into your butter that you don't want to keep and that is going to again keep, keep more chlorophyll so we want to try to eliminate our chlorophyll in the levo you actually do not need it because of its process and its technology um, and its spinniness it's not required um, because it does an even distribution or its method um, of how it does it. It's got some real science behind it. Um, if you really want to, um, if you have any specific questions on that, I highly recommend to contact their website, go to their website. They do have an online chat. They're wonderful and can answer any of those technical questions for you. Now with a butter brewer, because it has a steam release, uh, so it releases any uh, moisture buildup, if you wanted to add lecithin uh, while it during its brewing process in this machine, it would work perfectly fine and you don't need to worry about um, adhering a bunch of water, uh, moisture and chlorophyll, etc. to it. But again, I said add it afterwards. It, it's be, it, to me, it's better for it uh, for that reason. All right, so my little oil in my um, lid here has been sitting here for probably about five, seven minutes and you can see how much it's dissolved in that very short period of time. So look at that. That color amber, that's actually what the color of your infusion should basically look like. So this is what the color of your infusion should look more like, not a heavy green. It should be more of an amber. And as you can see in the lid, let me just get out that excess here. And you can see how clear the lid is now. See, you can see the Levo through it. You can see all the machines through it. So with this little demonstration, what I was trying to prove, one, is showing you how THC is oil soluble and how quickly it will, it dissolves. So for those of you who go and you're cooking for eight and 12 and 16 hours, you don't need to probably three to four hours 
maximum is all you need. Going beyond that, all you're doing is you're breaking down the plant material, releasing more and more chlorophyll into your, into your infusion, and you're not really making it any stronger. In summary here, so what to, in, regardless of the methods that you use here, if you use the crock pot, what I would do to make it better so that you don't get as much chlorophyll is to use a mason jar. Put your herb and your oil or your butter into there. Whoops. Put your lid on, obviously. Don't put it on super tight. Give it room for expansion. Place it into your crock pot. Obviously, you're going to have to have one that will fit in there. Make sure that your water line always remains above your oil line and it is basically doing just a reverse crock pot. You're not going to get all that water into your um, infusion and you're going to get the best benefits again. And what you're going to want to do is to either stir it up every 15-20 minutes or so or you can, uh, with an oven mitt obviously, shake it up and, uh, and then just put her back for the time being. And um, I, now with the crock pots, how they work is they, they warm up very slowly and they build up heat, as I said, and moisture. So the crock pot is probably the least effective because it's taking so much time to get to its temperature that it needs to be. And all you're really doing then, as I said, is cooking and breaking down that material. So it is probably the least effective way to go. What again, if you don't have any fancy machines, what I, uh, the better way would really again mason jar your oil, putting it into a pot that is deep enough to hold it. Make sure again, water line always has to remain above your oil line um, for heat control, and just doing it on your uh, stovetop on medium low for about four hours. And again, with doing that method, you don't need to keep the lid on it and you won't get, again, build up moisture as well. Again, bleh, not releasing as much chlorophyll. If you use the magical butter, there really isn't anything much um, we can do to re uh, release the chlorophyll. Like I said, it just pulverizes it, moisture builds up, it's going to release that chlorophyll irregardless. We can't stick it in anything because it's going to interfere with the blade. So regardless, you're always going to end up with a heavy chlorophyll um, infusion with, with that machine. With the Levo, um, with its technology, again, lecithin is not required in, uh, not required with it. I don't know of any other machines out there that use their type of technology and the magnetic stir um, process. But honestly, out of all of them, this would be my number one choice. And then the other, if I was looking at machines, I would now be looking at one that has a slow stir mechaniz mechanism versus one that pulverizes your herb. You just want something that's going to continually move your herb through your oil to be able to um, help it dissolve um, versus destroying it and releasing all of your, releasing everything. So that is pretty much it there, I believe, that I'm going to cover for our, with regards to can of butter. So if you guys have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to put them. You obviously know, you know where. And I don't want to hear anybody yelling at me, magical butter, crock pot, blah, blah, blah. This is my personal opinion and my experiences with the different machines and why and how to get a cleaner infusion. All right, guys. So thank you so much for watching and you have an awesome rest of your day.